Inside Science TV. I think AI is the sort of the natural progression of computing. I don't like it. Do you? Do you like it? Uh, I don't think I've ever given it much thought. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm already affected by it. <laughs> I think it's going to take over. I think it's going to be, I think, you know, everything soon to an extent will have some amount of artificial intelligence in it. Artificial intelligence is coming, so how's it going to change our reality? In March of this year, Google's artificial intelligence AlphaGo beat one of the top human intelligences, Lee Sedol, at the strategically mind-boggling board game Go. Experts had thought we were years away, but the computer played elegant, creative moves to outfox a Go master. So, are we on the brink of an AI revolution? I asked Dr. Peter Bentley, a computer scientist from University College London, for some expert insight. Since the beginning of artificial intelligence research, um, one of the main ways that we've tested the intelligence of our computers is to ask them to play games with us. And the progression towards the recent victory has been a long one. But in all of these cases, um, playing games it, a, a hugely simple task. In a game, there's a clear winning outcome, and it's a closed environment, so the spectrum of possibilities can be accurately predicted. A Go stone won't suddenly turn into a chess piece, for example, or a sausage. Google wants to transfer AlphaGo to more real-world situations like medicine. So how does an AI brought up on board games hold up in the real world? It's a very pure, clean kind of problem playing a game. The rules are precise, there's no fuzziness, you're either allowed to do that or you're not allowed to do it. And actually, real intelligence is completely nothing to do with precision. Real intelligence is, is about surviving in a horrible, complicated, messy world that's trying to kill you. That's what intelligence is for. That's why organisms have intelligence, to survive. So playing a computer game, it, it's a neat trick. But one of the things that's coming through now is an increasing use of computers to do creative things. So that's computers composing music, it's creating artwork, it's doing exotic special effects in movies, all sorts of really unusual things that, that we might not think of, but a computer does think of it. Um, and for a long time there's been a long debate, what is creativity? Could a, could a computer ever be creative? Yeah, the, the news is yes it can be. And not only can it be creative, it can, it can do things that really amaze us and make us think, holy crap, you know, I, I, wish, uh, I wish I thought of that. I wasn't really sure what it was about. Um, and usually when you don't know what something is about, it seems scary. I think we can make use of it in a positive way. If I had to sort of describe an emotion to it, it would be excitement. Artificial intelligence will change our lives. Already, AlphaGo's first victim says he's learned to play better by playing against the machine. Now imagine what we'll learn as AI is unleashed onto our world. For Inside Science TV, I'm Ali Jennings. Thanks for watching. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, Follow us on the web and social media, powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.